welcome back to T TV. Today we are reviewing the Sam Young, Sam Young, Sam Young, whatever, Sam Young chips. Chips. Um. So tell them how we came about these chips. So we was out looking for noodles for uh, UMP. We were um, in Savannah. Yeah, we was in Savannah, Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, was, and we were looking for some, uh, what was it, black chin noodles. Oh yeah, that's right. Went, we went somewhere, they tried to charge us like... What was it? Twelve dollars for a six pack of this. So we left there, went somewhere else, and we ran across these potato chips at another Oriental uh, store. Asian. Asian. Don't say that. Oh, don't say that. Asian. I'm sorry. I We're do apologize. Sorry. I'm not trying to offend nobody. <laughs> don't hurt me. Don't try to stick me up. <laughs> All right. So you, they say it's hot chicken flavor. Yeah. So you know how they have the Sam Young. Uh, Spicy noodles. The noodles. Time. Then what was the other thing we tried? They had the squid. The squid. The Samyang yeah. squid. So now they have the Samyang chip. Yeah. So y'all, Samyang is taking advantage of a mother. They get. They say no. They gonna have <laughs> Samyang meat. We got the hot meat and the mild. They gonna have everything. They gonna have the candy. Do they have candy? I, they probably. They might do. have the Samyang candy. They have the Samyang. Samyang everything. Yeah. So, so we're gonna just keep trying those. They keep putting it out. See yeah. what it tastes like. So it's fairly cheap, it's $1.69. Um, we don't know what any of these words mean besides the... Hot chicken favorite Zaladuk. Duke, Z Zaladuk? Zaladuk. I don't know. So before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe to Tilly TV because it is the place to be. Me. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the Epic Empire family. Yes, and be our game. They'll be having one of these videos coming out. Um, it happened well. already, came out already. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to check that out. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, let's get salty. Okay, come in a nice thickened bag. That's not like straight. Bag. They got the nice signature red and black bag. I don't smell like nothing. I don't know. Let's try to get closer and let's cover our faces. You know what they look like? They remind me of a little bit, not bugles, but like the shape of them. They look like a um, the shape of like uncooked pasta. Yeah. That's the shape they look like. So. That's awesome. Let you go first, ladies first, you know, babe? Really? You know, don't get one. You can't just have one. Mm, it's a taste. Right. You see? So, cheers. It's kind of, oh, wait, wait. It's kind of like, remember the King cereal? The Kings that, that you get on, like, they used to give you. King Vitamin? King Vitamin. Really? The, the, uh, the no, those, those look. It was, no, I'm talking about they were like small or like little stars. I don't remember. Ready? Yeah. Okay, oh, sweet. Yes, it is. Ain't nothing hot yet. Something coming. Oh, there's something coming. Mm-hmm. Kind of, it's kind of tricking me because it's sweet, and I'm thinking it's kind of scaring me a little bit. You got a little spice to it. So if you like spicy. It's really sweet. It is. So they kind of masked it with that. So it's kind of like a sweet treat. Sweet heat. You making a noise? Did y'all catch it? <laughs> it kind of like you put, kind of like cereal a little bit. Yeah, do. Like frosty flakes, but spicy frosty flakes. He said frosty flakes. Frosted, <laughs> frosted flakes. Spicy <laughs> <laughs> flakes. I never had. Spice. These are really sweet. They, that's why that's that's the trick because it's like super sweet and then you got that hint of. The spice uh, comes right after, like the sweet is here and the spice is like do 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 do. Because yeah. I feel it. Like eat some more. I ate two and I feel it in my throat. Yeah. I feel it on my tongue. Oh, yeah. But the spice is but definitely but there. But it's sweet, though. Mm. So it tastes like you're going to be eating a cereal, but then the cereal gets really hot. Hot cereal. They're probably going to make that next. Sam Young, if y'all made that, it don't give us a piece of that crap. It'll I wish it had more of a, like, I wish it had more of a salty, a sweet, salty flavor because yeah. it's sweet heat, but there's no salt. Yeah. It's, it's just sweet heat. It's kind of tricky because um, it tastes like like candy, not candy, but like 
Yeah, cereal, like, like a cereal, cereal, like a cereal glaze. And then it started to get spicy. Then it's hot in my throat. My tongue burning, so I couldn't. Like my tongue is burning. So I would say I wish it had more of a salt content to it. Yeah, it's just straight sweet and then hot. Yeah, it's amazing to me how so many different cultures have their uh, their food, how they um, prep and make and enjoy their food, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and Yeah, and we all humans by the end of the day, but we all do different things, um, you know, depend, depending on what part of the globe we have. It's just... And then how you grew up, Yeah. how you grew up eating things. Like, you know, if we grew up eating things like this, it would be just normal to us. Yeah. I do kind of wonder, like, if genetics play a part in it, though. Like, your genetics, mm -hmm. like, do people say, oh, you know, all black people like chicken? Is it that all, or black people like watermelon? Like well, like, I, I, like I, I don't like watermelon. I do like watermelon. And I'm black. But, um... Oh, no, you lose your card. There's a lot of stuff I don't like, but you already know that by now if you know me. But, yeah, I do wonder if some of it's genetic, like, you know in our genes that we like certain things or is it just mainly because of how we grew up? I wonder. It could be both because it could I be bet, I definitely know it's, yeah. And if you grew up only to eat, you know, to eat bread, then you only eat bread. Like, oh, they don't eat bread. Yeah. But like, if you were introduced to other foods, yes, that's you may you may like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you grew up only eating a certain food yeah. and then later on in life, Say me as a black person, and I was introduced to like chicken or something. And I'm just like, oh, I never had this, but I really like this. Yeah. Is that my is that my DNA coming out? <laughs> or like know. you know, with Asian food. I mean, Asian people if they grew up on eating American food, but then you know they try Asian food. It's like, why do I like this so much? Is that just in their DNA? I'm thinking right to now? myself right now, right? Is Chinese people they been eating their food this whole time, and then what if they had it all of a sudden can only eat pizza? Pizza Hut pizza. They'd be like, what is this? Yeah, they would. They probably, because you know, a lot of um, Asian people that eat healthy, a lot of mm -hmm. healthy foods and they vegetables. A lot of rice and stuff. A lot of vegetables and soups and things like that. So they probably be a real culture shop, which is all the carbs and all that kind of stuff. I think real authentic. If they come over here, look at our food, they'd be like, what is this over here? Yeah, so, I think, but I think all cultures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's grease everywhere. <laughs> I think a lot of different cultures love American food. They like American food, but they just won't eat it like we do. Yeah, it's unhealthy. Yes, some of it is very unhealthy. Atlanta, a lot of it. Uh, of, of the grease. We eat a lot of grease, a lot of butter, and everything. That's true. We do. So, I, I realize that too. What? And then all the other countries, we do use a lot of. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we do. We, yeah, we do, but there are. There are alternatives. I okay. have tongue twister. There are alternatives there to are use alternatives. and things like I like to use olive oil um, instead of using butter. I like to cook with olive oil or like other things. People use coconut oil or whatever else. So there are different things you can use. People just choose to use what they want to use. You know, but. You gotta use what's best. Olive oil is really good. Give me I, some of that butter. I love olive it's oil. Soft. If I had that to cook with, I'd be just fine. But so, I would. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, you cook some shrimp and that's some chicken. You cook everything and it just season up good. You just don't have that butter content. And then the oil is actually good for you. The oil is good for you. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you had to rate the chips from one to five, what would you say? Um, it wasn't nasty. They're nasty. It's just a little too sweet for me. Yeah, it was just unique. I, one to five, you said one to ten. One five. Five. Yeah, we do one to five. I'm going to give them, oh, yes, yes. We'll do a 2.5. We'll give them half. So one to five, I, I would agree. Maybe a three. If you really like sweet stuff, you would really like this. If it you like sweet like, stuff, you will love it. Like if you eat cereal out of the bag, yeah, you'll love those. Yeah. And then you like heat, those will be your friend. Yeah, that's the weird thing. It's like having hot cereal. Where is that? <laughs> it is. It's like hot cereal. Kind of like hot cereal. Like, imagine pouring this in a bowl, eating it with milk. Like, mmm. Mm. Mm. Well, like, drink, drink the milk. The milk's spicy. Why the milk? It's hot. Why the milk? I'm bringing that spicy like, milk in here. It is. It's really, really sweet. So, um, yeah. That's our review on the Samyong. Yeah, the Samyong chips. Yes. 
Um, if you guys want to, go ahead, go ahead and try them. If you, like I said before, if you like these stuff, you probably will love them. So. What is the <laughs> Okay. Well, again, we'll see you guys on the next video. We love you so much. Thank you for joining us on Tilly TV, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.